Hey guys, welcome back to season uh, 21, war number 11 in Alliance War. Uh, first up on path 9, we've got a uh, Stealth Spidey on the Hazard Shift, uh, Incinerate Poison. We boost up, we go in with Iceman, and we'll uh, take care of him pretty uh, straightforward. Just make sure we have to be quick on those heavies to uh, take off the uh, AI, and then uh, we can just keep applying the uh, Cold Snap with the SP-1, and we don't really have to worry about his evades at all. So there he is, a stubborn defender, but we can parry, so we don't uh, have to worry about uh, stubborn too much. Just bait out those special ones and uh, wrap this one up. I think one more heavy and we're done. Alright, next we got Elsa. We've had Elsa a couple times on this path. I think it's the the idea is if you don't have a mutant champion, if they if they were running uh, suicide masteries, then you would uh, take a lot of degen, which would just be that much worse with the incinerate and poison. But Iceman takes uh, you know takes care of it pretty easily, and I'm pretty comfortable still evading the uh, her special one without a problem. Just keep your distance. It's almost just a little one, two, three, and attack back in. All right, next up, we got a ghost with, uh, what is it? Uh, buff and balance, matador, cold turkey. Nothing really to worry about. We'll just bring in nice man. It's a pretty straightforward, uh, Fight. There's nothing really to worry about. I'm just gonna get specials when she throws a special, and that's about it. Nothing uh, really to worry about. Drop that special too. Put on some incinerates. Again, nothing, uh, nothing too special here. But a nice little, uh, nice little fight for uh, for Torch. All right, next up, we've got another SIG 200 Korg on Mixmaster. I don't have that nice white Magneto pre-fight this time. We're just going in with uh, Boosted Up Doom, and we will try our best uh, to get through this one. Again, you don't want to... Uh, I don't want to give him any crowd charges by evading, and... Um, I'm still at the mercy of the 70% or 69.99% uh, shrug off rate that he's going to have. So I know that he was going to shrug off that uh, for the majority of that special too, but I want to get it on. And uh, here I kind of get stuck where I push him to three crowd charges. Now I throw on an indestructible boost. It gets wasted right there. And, uh, you know, this isn't the prettiest of the quirk fights. You can see there he shrugs it off, but I'm using my... Uh, special one just to get rid of his rock stack so I can get those guaranteed parries so you know half the time my eyes are just on his rock stacks so there he is seven I take him down to three with the special one there I thought I was going for a for a parry it doesn't register and I just take a full combo to the face luckily doom is pretty tanky and now I get back into the swing of things there that special two hit pretty well. Now he's only got the uh, three rock snacks at this point. Spot where uh, every time hit refreshes, it's only going to refresh to like three or two rock snacks. So it's not going to be so bad. So there, nah, it's still refreshing at five because then I <laughs> then go ahead and gets another one there. But uh, at least every time in an ideal scenario, every time you... Uh, bring his rock stacks down, they're going to refresh at one less than what they had the last time. So, the more the more it works, the easier it is the next time. problem with these ones is every time he uh, goes ahead and restores one, he gets a couple back. But now you can see it's kind of only refreshed the last one at two, even though he got the restore, it's pretty good. So cutting it a little close here, but we still get another solo. All right, next uh, path nine in phase two, we've got 
Window of Opportunity stunned with one eye open against this Medusa. So Doom is a nice counter here. I just don't want to, you know, psychologically, like, just don't parry, don't parry, don't parry. <laughs> and just focus on using the uh, SP1 to get rid of her... Um, uh, to get rid of her armor ups and uh, and uh, not worry about the living strands too much. When she has the living strands, you can throw in like one hit after her heavy or throw the SP1 there or kind of push her back here, uh, you know, hit into the block. That's how I used to do uh, Medusa fights back in the day when you used to see her all the time. I just hit into her block, let her... Uh, run out her uh run out the timer and here the problem with one eye open is even if i do stun her when she can be stunned any damage i do to her is going to be reflected back on me and i kind of want to keep as much uh, health as possible so it makes it a little bit of a slower fight because i just have to think about those uh the her armor ups but it went well now we've got hulkbuster and this is another nice doom fight we've got window of opportunity stun and he has a stubborn defender so i can just wait until the window is open to get my parries in and not have to worry too much uh one of his big things is dealing the shock damage so if you didn't have uh doom or a thing or someone who can is shock immune then these this type of longer fight you'd be taking a lot of shock damage but with uh, doom i can slow play it don't have to worry and it's and it's great so I just have to keep my eye on the um, you know on the uh, the stun timer so there we go it comes down I can get my parries in and uh, also keep control of his uh, power again I don't want to push to uh, don't want to push to a special two I'd rather keep uh, evading his special one the entire time and uh, it's not too bad Again, he's got that unblockable special one, so I just got to keep my distance on it. I think other than that, it's just a little bit of a, a, a like a Hulkbuster is quite a tanky defender. So it's just take your time, do everything correctly, don't parry in the wrong <laughs> spot, and. Uh, it works out just fine. There I had that one special tube, but we blocked it and we're fine. I think, uh, can we get in? Yeah, we can get one more parry in there before the timer goes get the destructible charge and we're done last but not least for this one because I lost some recordings of some other fights this uh, Nick Fury fight of connect transfer and some power from afar now I threw on I didn't have an invulnerability boost but I threw on like a 33% special 3 boost just in case and this one works out great so the power from afar can be nullified with the stagger so I want to start off with um, parry heavy to start and I uh, try and move back on the uh, move away on his special one and if I get those initial parry heavies at least I get some destructible charges because Doom is the stubborn uh, attacker now here's where the craziness goes so I'm going to go with the special three I believe we go medium light medium medium light medium light or whatever it is <laughs> medium light 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 medium into the special one steal his power now we're gonna wait and try and as he gets to i believe as he's getting close to three bars of power we're gonna go back to three bars of power now we're gonna do the same cycle again And now he's not going to be stunned because of his uh, his life model decoy. So I'm going to rely on stealing his power. Steal it. 
go in there and throw that special one again into a special two, and he doesn't get a chance to get anything off at me. And that was just about as smooth as I could possibly play it. And, uh, you know, that's the, uh, the end of, that's the last one for this war. And, uh, I had two other fights that were, um, that, uh, I ran out of space. I had a, um, uh, there was a terrible fight I had against, um, Modoc on hazard shift stun immune, or I got wrecked on that one and then, um, took a couple tries to take down the boss, um, but uh, it didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't so great in the end. So, but uh, these fights were were great. So I hope you enjoyed them, and we'll see you on the next one.